Yeah, Catherine, the incident happened around 1030 PM last night near Round Island on Lake Winnipesaukee and it involved two crashes and the second one involving a Marine Patrol boat. Now we just saw it, but we're going to show you again. This is footage of the Marine Patrol boat being pulled out of Lake Winnipesaukee. But now before that, going back to last night, Marine Patrol found a serious boat crash in the area and were able to rescue both people in the water. But the boat was still speeding around the lake with no drive. Now, after transferring the victims to the Guilf to a Guilford fire boat, Marine Patrol made two attempts to stop the unmanned boat until the driverless boat made an unexpected turn, hitting the Marine Patrol boat, causing it to capsize. Both officers were thrown into the water and were briefly pinned under the boat. The officers were able to surface as the driverless boat dragged the Marine Patrol boat with it. Now, a couple of good Samaritans actually came by and picked up the officers in the water. So the driverless boat still going around, but now going slower because it's driving or it's dragging the Marine Patrol boat. But there were other good Samaritans that boarded the driverless boat and were able to stop it. Now, the victims of the first crash, they were taken to a con uh, to Concord Hospital in Laconia with non life threatening injuries and the two officers that were thrown in the water. They were also taken to the same hospital as a precautionary measure measure, but they were not injured. Like Catherine just said, we were able to speak to Marine Patrol just before going live, but we are going to hear from them later today at four, five and six. So make sure you tune in for that. We're live here in Guilford. Troy Lynch, WMUR News 9.